It's one of my favorite times. Time for some art. This week we are reading some stories about insects. So I thought today we'd do a scientific drawing of an insect. Now parts of it are going to be scientific and parts of it you're going to get to be creative. So let's think first about what we learned. If you watched the video yesterday where we read the stories about insects, we learned two really important facts about all insects. The first thing we learned was that they had three body parts. So when I start my picture of my insect, I want to make sure I have three body parts. So I'm going to put a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. I'm going to start up near the top, and I'm going to give my insect a circle-shaped head. We also learned that some of them have triangular-shaped heads. You could make a square-shaped head, an oval-shaped. That's kind of where your creativity gets to come in. My next spot is going to be the thorax. So I'm going to draw that thorax part. And then the very bottom part is going to be the abdomen. So now you can see my insect has three body parts. The other thing that we learned about insects is that they have six legs. Now if I have six and I divide them into two groups, that will give me three on each side. I don't want my insect to have all six legs coming out of one side of his thorax because then he would have a hard time walking. So I'm going to make three legs on this side and I'm going to make them bent a little bit. So they're going to come out and bend, come out and bend, come out and bend. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, come out and bend come out and bend, and come out and bend. Now I'm going to go back up and give my insect some eyes. I'd also like to give him some antenna, and I'm going to make mine have curly Q antenna. You get to decide what kind you want. Curl them up. Same thing on this side. Curl them up. And then, because this is where it gets a little silly and not so scientific, I'm going to give mine a nice big smile with some little cheek lines because we want him to be cute too. Now, we're going to label the three body parts. So I'm going to draw a line that comes from his head, and I'm going to write the word head. <sighs> Ed. Now there's an A in there that we can't hear, and then that D sound at the end. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to label the thorax. So this part right here is the thorax. That's that TH sound again. Or, hey, just like Thor. Ax. Ax. And I'm going to also label the abdomen. It's a little bit longer of a word, so I'm going to make a shorter line. Ab. Do, mm, and there we go. The other thing that I'm going to label are the six legs. So I'm going to draw one line over here, and I'm going to write six, s, x, full, egg, s, just like that. Now you can go back and you can use some lines and you can make some decorations on your insect. You can make him striped, you can make him polka dotted, you can make him however you want. I think I'm gonna make him striped on this bottom half. So I'm gonna just draw a line that goes from one side of his abdomen to another. And now I can go back in and I can color those in. I can color them all different colors. I could create a pattern if I wanted to. Then maybe up here, I'll give him a zigzag pattern. All right. Now you can go back in with crayons or markers and you can color him in. Have fun creating your insect. Bye.